Joining us this morning, Republican strategist John Fury. John, good morning to you. So Axios calling the GP, G, GOP a, quote, fractured coalition. Fair to say? Well, I think we're working out some some difficulties here. Uh, you know, there is a move to a more populist, uh, more localized, less federalist, uh, uh, more decentralized uh, approach to governing. Uh, I think that there's a lot of, you know, increasingly skepticism about our in, in, uh, real big investment in Ukraine when we should be investing in, in the country, in the United States. Um, you know, Trump still has a big hold on the country uh, or and on the Republican Party. The thing I, I worry about, though, is independent voters really do not like Donald Trump and they don't like his threats to democracy, how they perceive the threats to democracy. And it seems that uh, Trump is doubling down on some of that rhetoric. And I'm not sure if that's going to be helpful for him if he does get the nomination or helpful for Republicans if they you know, try to keep the House and take back the Senate. Right. So the independent workers and then you've got the MAGA movement, which has been the center for the GOP for years. Has that changed now moving into 2024? What's the influence and strength of the MAGA? Well, MAGA is strength, uh, very strong at CPAC. Uh, I think it's pretty strong with the Trump coalition. I think it, you know, has probably about 43 to 45 percent of the Republican Party. Um, I think that Ron DeSantis, if he decides to run, is going to have to, you know, make a play for both the MAGA and the independent voter. Um, and he's going to have to try to plot a different course that resonates with both sides of the Republican coalition. Um, you know, I think that you, you talked about the, the the fracture and, you know, for Trump, Nikki Haley was in, in at CPAC and he's been very nice to Nikki Haley. And I think he's going to be very nice to every other candidate other than Ron DeSantis, because he the more the merrier from Trump's perspective, if he can get, you know, divide the Republicans amongst themselves, uh, then he can kind of easily win the nomination. And you saw that when Larry Hogan decided that he was not going to run for president. I'm, I'm wondering who's next. In that in that world. Right. Who's going to come out of the woodwork? Well, when you talk about the straw poll, so DeSantis, who has not officially announced a run, was right around 20 percent. So how soon before you think we hear that announcement? I think it's going to be sometime in late summer. Um, I think he's trying to get through uh, a, you know, not, not a very contentious, but a very hopefully uh, eventful uh, session of the Florida legislature. Um, he's going to want to kind of get his own imprint on on how he wants to govern and get some real wins. And he's got the votes to to get those wins. And um, but I think you're already seeing that some of his team is getting uh, put together. Uh, you know, I think that they've got to raise money, but they also have to figure out, you know, how do you engage with President Trump and how do you engage with the MAGA folks who are, you know, playing for keeps? And, you know, they have a lot of real chip on the shoulder, the the the, the Trump uh, legions. Um, I think that for Don, Ron DeSantis, the big thing is paint a positive uh, future. You know, Trump seems to keep talking about the past. And I, you know, I, I, the past is something that we probably need to learn from. But, uh, you know, politicians need to, you know, figure out what's a, what's a brighter future for for the country and make sure we don't make the same mistakes of the past. And I think that that's some, that's a challenge for DeSantis. And ultimately, does Trump benefit the most from a crowded field on the GOP side, the more people that get in? Yeah, that's what I said. And the more the merrier. He's going to be very kind to every other uh, member uh, of the Senate who announces he's running for president uh, and every other governor uh, other than Ron DeSantis, because I think that he sees a real threat in DeSantis. But, you know, I don't think he sees such a threat with Tim Scott or Lindsey Graham or Nikki Haley uh, or, or, or other folks of that ilk. Um, so we'll see what happens. You know, I think that uh, uh, the, the, the establishment, per se, understands that the more crowded the field, the better chance that Trump has to win. And I think that political operators like Karl Rove understand that uh, Trump can't win with independent voters. And so if we nominate Trump, uh, we're going to have a real hard time uh, retaking the White House. You know, we've been talking about the threat that China poses. We've got the ongoing war in Ukraine. The economy is always the top issue when it comes to an election. What platform do you think, whatever the nominee is, uh, that they'll lean into come uh, come race time? Uh, well, I think that what it's very, very interesting because I, I think that uh, Trump is going to continue to point to uh, our own government as uh, an enemy per se. You know, he's going to kind of say that Washington and the Washington establishment is the problem. I think you'll see other candidates point to uh, 
other forces, either Vladimir Putin or the Chinese, as the biggest uh, problems with uh, with America. Uh, you know, the, the the biggest enemies that we have to conquer. Uh, I think that ultimately, you know, um, DeSantis is has to do both. I mean, he, I think DeSantis's biggest issue is he's got to figure out where he wants to be on the international front. Does he want to stand up? You know, does he want to make China the enemy or does he want to make a out of control Washington bureaucracy the enemy? And um, the, those kind of two things kind of conflict a little bit. So he's got to figure that out. Well, it's going to give us a lot to talk about over the next year or so. Always good to see you, uh, Republican strategist John Fury. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.